creates a positive future for the city. He responded after a police officer was shot, rolled out a new subway safety plan, and announced millions in new funding for public hospitals. Pump up baseline staffing, including doctors, nurses, medical technicians, and support workers. Eric Adams vowed to be a get stuff done mayor, and his productivity began on day one. The mayor signed executive orders this week to extend indoor vaccine mandates and help small businesses get back on their feet. He wants the city to essentially be an example to the rest of the country how you can manage the pandemic but keep things moving at the same time. Calling the city resilient, Mayor Adams wants to see employees return to their offices. And when it comes to the city's 1.1 million public school students, we're going to do, to do everything that we have to do to keep our schools open. A stance that drew criticism and concern. I'm not too crazy about the policy with the kids where you're going to make more to school. We would definitely feel more comfortable if we had at least 3,000 more substitutes ready to go. The new mayor made national headlines and was called out for this comment about who he called low-skilled workers. My low-skilled workers, my cooks, my dishwashers, my messengers, my shoeshine people, those who work in Dunkin' Donuts, they cannot, they don't have the academic skills to sit in a corner office. The mayor later said he was simply trying to explain many New Yorkers cannot afford another shutdown. Every mayor is going to make an analogy that's probably not appropriate or acceptable to a, a, a wide audience. So what's next for Mayor Adams? Basil Michael Jr. runs the public policy program at Hunter College. And in the coming weeks, he expects the mayor to focus more on public safety. We've seen some uh, early signs that he is going to continue this sort of tough on crime approach. The real question is, can he do it in a way that's humane? And today, Mayor Eric Adams named Philip Banks as his deputy mayor for public safety. Banks resigned from the NYPD seven years ago as he was under investigation from the FBI over unexplained money in his bank account. But today, Philip Banks apologized, and the Adams administration points out Banks was never charged with a crime. They believe he is the best man for the job. Reporting live from City Hall, Ayanna Harry, X11 News.